What's going on everybody? This is the sketchiest launch I think I've ever used. Um, but it worked, we have the boat in the water. And this is day two of fishing for muskies down in Tennessee. We had a little bit of rain this morning, which was actually nice because it gave us a chance to sleep in as we were, Nate and I were both just dead tired. We, we drove all night to get here. So it gave us a chance to catch up on sleep. And we we're gonna go fish some incoming creeks into this river and I, I, that rain may have helped. It should kind of call those fish in to those river inlets. And uh, I don't know, sounds like a good theory. We'll see if it, uh, it's actually true. Let's get fishing. All right, Nate's throwing his trusty suic. I've got the old uh, war pig rattle bait on and we are doing the whole Southern Reservoir rattle bait and small baits springtime thing um man it's freaking gorgeous here i just wish the muskies would show up and play Oh jeez. <laughs> a white bass. Wow. <laughs> Nothing like a white bass uh, on a figure eight to uh, get the heart pumping. Jeez. Well, that's the size of the bait we want, I guess. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Well, there it is, the first official fish of the trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah we got ourselves a pattern no that's fine <laughs> oh dummies Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, largey. Oh boy, it is a multi species day. He wasn't getting away. Cripes. Huh. He's growing himself a little algae. Yep, we're whacking them today. All right, afternoon update. We have two hours left to fish, and I think we're probably in one of the best spots we've found so far. Um, should be fish moving in and out of this area to spawn. We've seen some fish moving around. Um, our temps are highest that we've found so far back here, and I don't know, I'm feeling just as confident here as I have anywhere else, probably a little bit more. So um, two hours to hopefully get this done and finally get a fish that is actually a muskie in the boat and not a bass. So, or a white bass. Or, or a white bass, yeah. Um, on a side note, you gotta 
make a cast out, Nate. You have to take a look at this. Nate has a Shadillac on. The difference is it doesn't have a lip in it. You have to see what this thing does. How cool is that? I'll be honest, you're going to break the lip when you take it out, but you can buy replacement lips for the Shadillax, but I think having one of those just as a wake surface bait like that is going to be, that's going to be a thing. So, all right, enough talking. Let's fish. There's a big muskie right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he just went down. Just went down. He, he was five feet out in front of the boat, dude. I just happened to look down. That was a nice fish. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's good. Oh, it was a mid-40, at least, inch fish. It was a good fish. Muskie, right there. I finally just saw him take off. Dang it. That was not, that wasn't a big one. That was maybe like a 38, 39. <sighs> Bastards are in here, man. They are in here. All right, well that is it for day two. And no muskies again. We saw some. We're getting closer, I think, to getting this figured out. Um, with the help of Corey Allen, who is, I think, gonna hop in the boat with us again tomorrow for a little bit, if he can. So guys, if you want a guide down here, check out Corey. I will leave his info in the description below. Uh, but he's a cool dude. He's helping us out a little bit, pointing us in the right direction. So that's it. That's it for day two. We are back at it again for day three, and then we've got a little bit uh, that we can fish on day four. So let's wrap it up. See you tomorrow. Bye.